Hi, I'm Pete McCall for the American Council on Exercise. I recently wrote the article on rucking, and rucking, the difference between a ruck and a hike, is carrying a load. Right now, I have a military-grade backpack on. I got it from a friend of mine who's a former active duty Marine, and it's what I use for rucking. Now, a hike, you just go for a walk. You're hiking on the trails. A ruck is where you put on a pack and you carry a load. This is one of my usual hikes and rucks. It's not major elevation. I'm in coastal California. I'm in Carlsbad, San Diego, or Carlsbad, north of San Diego. And normally when I do this hike, it takes me probably about 50, 55 minutes. When I rock it, when I put a pack on, it takes me about an extra 10 or 15 minutes because I got to go a little bit slower. And I find using my my zone that I burn about 12 to 15 percent more calories. Now, if you're interested in helping your clients rock, here's a little bit of advice. Number one, start small. Right now in this pack, I'm carrying 25 pounds, but I weigh about 200 pounds. So that's a little bit, a little bit more than 10% of my body weight. Now, when I started, I started carrying a 10 pound sandbell. Put a 10 pound sandbell in the bag, easy peasy. Then I swapped it for a 12 pound sandbell. Then I added the 10 and the 12 together, and now I carry a 25 pound sandbell. That's a progression. That progression probably took, I'd say about six to nine months. I did it over the course of last year when I started getting into rucking because I found that while I love hiking, yeah, it doesn't get the heart rate up as much. Now, when I put a pack on, especially carrying a load, now that adds to it. So if you are looking for a good challenge for your clients, if your clients love to exercise hard, if your clients love to sweat, as you can tell, I'm sweating, consider having them try rucking. All you need to get started, or all your clients need to get started, are a good pair of shoes, a backpack, and a little bit of weight. Now keep in mind that a gallon of water is about eight pounds. So if you don't have, if your clients don't have weight, they just get a gallon of water bottle, throw it in the pack, and start with eight pounds. And the good news is they have hydration because if they go out on a hot day, if they go out for a long ruck, they're gonna need that. So here's what you need to know about helping your clients get started in rucking. Number one, start small, start level ground. I've been doing this for a while, so I feel comfortable hiking up a hill, right? But with your clients, have them start small. Robert Linkle, who's a strength coach who specializes, or doesn't specialize, but has his clients do rucking, he has them start very basic. Go 10 miles, or sorry, 10 minutes. Robert has his clients go 10 minutes in one direction, and then 10 minutes back, and you build up from there. Start with a lightweight. You don't need to do a heavy weight. That's what they build up to. Let your clients know that this is a progression. Rucking is an activity that gets you outside. One of the reasons why I love it is look at these views. Now, as much as I love being in a gym, where do you think your clients would rather be? Would they rather be in a dark gym? Now, if you own the gym, that's a different story. But if your client wants great, a great workout and a great way to get outside, and here's the thing, rucking is awesome to do with other people. It's a late afternoon right now, I'm doing a solo ruck, but it's great to do with friends, family, I'll bring my kids along. They don't want to carry a pack. I don't make them, it's my job. <laughs> but, so you have the idea. Rucking is one of those activities that is a perfect way to get outdoors. For your clients who love to work hard yet want to be mindful of their bodies and be careful of their bodies, it's a great way to work hard, but stay safe. So if you want to help your clients get started in rucking, do a few simple internet searches. Look at goruck.com. There's a lot of information on there. A sturdy backpack, a little bit of load, Make sure they have water. Make sure they have comfortable shoes. Start small, 10 minutes one direction, 10 minutes back, build up from there. Start with a few pounds, gradually build up. And before you know it, <laughs> your clients will have a brand new activity that'll keep them healthy and fit for the long term.